Welcome to the Mastery Airway Training for Superglottic Airway Insertion. The aim of the Mastery Program is for you to be competent to perform safe and successful procedures for your patients via a combination of supervised, simulated and real-life clinical practice. Before moving on to the video, here is a visual reminder of the Mastery Program Procedural Skill Competency Pathway. You should watch this video as well as read the information pack before proceeding to the simulation session held in clinical skills. Patient consent. All patients should undergo a preoperative evaluation by an anaesthetist. This must include a careful history and relevant examination. If available, have a look at their previous anaesthetic chart to check for any difficulties during airway management. Inform the patient that you are going to manage their airway under anaesthesia. This can improve patient anxiety and increase patient cooperation. Patient and Clinician Preparation Ensure that the anaesthetic assistant is prepared and perform a WHO sign-in. Check that your supervisor is available. Discuss the airway plan with both your assistant and supervisor and confirm roles in unanticipated difficulty, including who should call for help if required. Insert and secure supraglottic airway Prior to insertion of the supraglottic airway device, confirm adequacy of anaesthesia. This can be confirmed by several methods. The eyelash reflex can be checked by gently stroking the eyelash. The patient should have a relaxed jaw and not respond to jaw thrust. To insert the airway, hold it in your dominant hand like you would hold a pen. Place your non-dominant hand on the patient's occiput in order to maintain neck extension throughout insertion. Gently open the patient's mouth, then insert the bowl of the supraglottic airway against the hard palate. Pay particular attention to avoid injury to soft tissues and dentition. You can also get your assistant to open the mouth slightly when initially inserting the airway and then apply jaw thrust to increase the posterior pharyngeal space. Advance the airway using gentle but continuous pressure upwards and backwards, sweeping the tongue to the left and out of the way. The airway first passes the hard palate, then the soft palate and posterior pharyngeal wall until definitive resistance is felt. When the airway has stopped advancing, release it and inflate the cuff according to the manufacturer's recommended volume. The airway will rise out of the mouth by about half to one and a half centimetres. Connect the ventilator tubing and gently ventilate by hand to confirm successful placement of the airway. This can be confirmed by adequate chest movement, square wave capnography and no audible leak. With the second generation supraglottic airways, an additional check to be undertaken is that of the gastric port. Apply a small amount of lubricating gel to the port. Satisfactory position of the supraglottic airway is indicated by minimal or gentle up and down movement of the gel. However, gel ejection or in training with inspiration during spontaneous breathing signifies malposition of the device. Hold the LMA in position until it is secured in place with tape or a tie. When using a supraglottic airway, it is good practice to check cuff pressure to ensure that it is not overinflated. This is not required for an eye gel which is uncuffed. Post procedure. Documentation of airway management is vital. Include information regarding basic airway management, type and size of supraglottic airway used, and any difficulties encountered.